Are we live, my good sir? We are live. We're in the building. We heavy. We going in. What up, what up, what up? Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy JT Torres PO in the building with my boy, the real Rick James. What up, what up, what up? How you doing, man? Everything lovely right now, man. Everything good, man. How you feeling, Rick? Chilling, living. What's no. the matter, bro? You sound you sound kind of uh what's going on there, buddy? Yeah, I got work all weekend. Mad, mad tight right now. Yo, you know what's crazy too? I'm thinking about getting a dog, right? And my girl, you know, she's definitely trying to convince me to go get it. We went to the shelter. Let me guess. A teacup Yorkie. No. A what? Well, okay. She wants one of those, you know. But, All right. but for me, this is going to be my dog. So we went to the shelter a couple weeks ago. All right. And we saw this pit bull. All right. And it was a mad nice looking pit bull. And, you know, she don't even like big dogs. But, like, she loves this dog. And I really grew to like it, too, now. And I, I'm think I'm, I think I want to get it. But I, I don't know if it's still there. I don't want to be heartbroken. So I'm mad scared to go back. That's why I'm sad. It's like I lost my puppy. Oh, man, that's messed up, son. That's messed up, son. I'm not going to front you. My mom got a little dog. You know, you come to my crib. <laughs> right. Like, yo, listen, man. I don't care. Y'all can say whatever you want. Like, I claim the dog. It's a Maltese poodle. His name is Rocco, and he's a G. Come to my crib. He's a G. I don't care what you tell me. Yes, I own a Maltese poodle. Is it mine? <laughs> no. But it's in my household. My mom just bought him. You know what I'm All saying? Right. I took him under my wing. You know, played around with him. Made him, made him, get, some, made him get some hops. You know what I'm saying? Play around with little chew toys, but he's official, 100% hybrid multi poo. You know what I'm saying? How so, you gonna be 100% hybrid? He's a hybrid, he's a cross. You can take a Maltese <laughs> and a poodle and you get a multi poo. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got. You know what I mean? It's a mix. It's, but it's a hybrid. It's like when you cross like you cross like some sour D and some Kush. That's like, a hybrid. It's a hybrid, but yeah. it's, 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 it's still sour diesel Kush. It's not 100%. It's a, if you cross a Puerto Rican and a Dominican, you don't Come have hundred percent Puerto Rican. But but look or, at me, I'm a I'm a I'm a, a mestizo from a mestizo, which is a combination of a Spaniard, an African, and a Taino Indian. So you get a Puerto Rican. I'm hundred percent PR. So therefore, I'm a hundred percent mutt. But no, you don't got no Dominican. Doesn't matter. Who said Dominican? I got love, yo. All up to my Dominicans on one forty fifth and Broadway. Oh yeah, all day. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody know me. My regular line of five manager at the at t Store 145th. If I need an iPhone, Android, iPad, holla at me. You know what I'm saying? I got you. You already Salesman. know. Come uptown. Yeah, how is that iPad? How's that new one? The iPad 3, man, honestly speaking, it's not a significant difference other than the retina display, the clarity, and the 4G LTE, which if you're on Wi-Fi, you came to a difference. So Apple got great marketing, but honestly, for $100 cheaper, get the iPad 2. I'll hook you up with a free case. <laughs> Posse be on Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> you already know, man. But, man, you you already know you're in the building once again, 100% PR show. You know what I'm saying? Every Thursday night, 8.30 to 9 o'clock, exclusively live on strongonder.com. Always here accompanied by my brother from another mother, the Bayesian Fire, a.k.a. the real Rick James. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, P.T. Spinner on the ones and twos. What's up, P? Yes, yes. We here. We here. What's up, fellas? Everything good. How you so feeling so back there? Good, good, good. How was your St. Patty's Day? Pretty good, pretty good. Still got one more to go, but pretty good. All right, that's what's up. Okay. Yo, what'd you do? Honestly, yo, I, I bumped into um, um Whitney from high school. Whitney, you remember, um, Marceline? Yeah, yeah, yeah Whitney, Whitney yeah. And, and Sean, Jamaican Jew. Sorry, sorry, it says government. <laughs> Jamaican Jew, yeah. Jamaican Jew. He has the dreads. <laughs> yeah, but he, but now he got the Caesar. But yo, I happened to go get a, a burger up in McCann's, and I wanted up having like five, uh, what you gonna call it, um, Irish car bombs. <laughs> And I was kind of tipsy. Love Irish I car love bomb. Irish car bombers, man. That's this shit's just official tissue. I need them. Yeah, I mean, I never had one before. That's you never of, had a car bomb? Nah, man? I mean, I'm about to say I never had one before. You know, you oh. Puerto Rican dude put me on an Irish car bomb. Yeah, I, I I'm know. culturally diverse. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you would give me some Bacardi, Captain Morgan. You, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I used, to, I used, to, I used to partake in activities, man. Then I started taking the medication for my ticker, man. I'm a young cat, but you know, got the little rhythmy and shit, so I had to fall back from all, you know, uh, Puerto Ricans. We call it bicio. It's like you know, right, like so a, you know, a little side thing, you know what I'm saying? But it's all love. No, no more good side. cooking. What? No more good cooking. Cause I know you know, I'll, your elbow be hooking it up. So yeah, but you know what's crazy? Cause I love your mother and your father. Your father. Is the official like the cook. cook, son. Shout out to my mom and dad. Well, shout out to the Jameses, man. <laughs> shout out to the real Jameses. They cook it up so good, and your mother can make the ill rum punch. That nah. shit ferments for like 18 months, B. 
Official. No, I'm a, I'm a, you know, my mom could throw it down, but the rum punch, that's my pop. Him too? Oh, that's man, <laughs> Mr. James, thank you for the rum punch and my taxes. <laughs> I appreciate it, sir. Word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my man, man. I love the James family, man. That's yeah. what's up. They be going hard. Two old school West Indians. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Bayesian Tegan. That's me. That's yeah, what, yeah that's what's what up. Get. Yeah, let's elaborate on that, whatever. So what is your ethnic background? Everybody knows I'm 100% PR, but you know, what? what is you know the real Rick James consist of on an ethnic level? So the real Rick James is made up with one part Bayesian, which is Barbados. Barbados. Shout out to your know, whole family out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then one part Antiguan. That's my pop. So Word. put them together, Beige and Tegan. That's yeah, Rick James. Yep, that's what it is. That's my dude right there with that man. Shout out to everybody in Barbados. Word. We went there two years I'm ago. A you know in Barbados. For real? Oh. You have dudes yeah, I got, I got, Yeah, I have papers. Yo, for real? Yeah, man. Do you so, want to you you... ever get, you know, something have to get out? I got to get out of here and run. I could run to Barbados and try to claim some immunity or something over there. Time out, though. But can I share with the listeners what happened when we were going to Barbados at JFK? <laughs> can, I, can I tell them real quickly? <laughs> Let them know. All right, son. So check this out, right? So it's me and the real Rick James, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and the James family. We're on our way out to Barbados and shit, right? And, we, you know, so we had JFK about to board and whatnot, right? And tell me why the, the, the people at, like, what was it, uh, um, Customs? They, they stopped them. And I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on here? They put this dude to the side. Like, this dude is like some Bayesian Badman. <laughs> like, this nah, dude is like... I, I didn't even get the customs. Remember, it was at the counter when at I was At the counter, but in. they was like, you know, we're going through. Like, how much is it? They're like, they're like, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait right here. I'm like, what's going on? We're trying to go overseas. They were like, no, you have to investigate this further. I'm like... And the shoulder looked good. She was mad nice about it. She was like, shh, come here. She's like, come here. She's like, what's up? She's like, yo, is, is everything okay? And Ricky's like, yeah, why, why, why wouldn't it? We're going to Barbados. They're like. I don't know. It's, it's coming up with a red flag. It's coming up with a red flag. Yeah. We're like, what the hell's going on here? I don't know. It was like the international Bajan Tegan terrorist or something. I, Yo, but I, there was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there was some other dude, maybe by the name of Rick or yeah. Ricardo James, that must be some kind of international Caribbean terrorist or Badman that holding <laughs> bricks from the whole West Indies. They thought it was him. Yeah, because they said something about, you know, my name being on a list and maybe it was a similarity or something, whatever. But, yo, they, and and you know what? I got to Barbados too. Remember, we opened up the suitcase. Actually, every time we go, you went to Vegas. To Vegas. Go to suitcase. I got one of those stickers that be Word. searched by TSA Word. every this, time. This guy, Rick James, is smuggling the white henny, <laughs> smuggling the white henny, and we get to Vegas and we open up the bags and, and there's a freaking paper. Me and, me, and, um, me and Joey shit didn't get looked at, nope. but yours did. And they didn't take the white henny, though. Yeah, the white henny was still there. That shit was so illegal. Was it legal or illegal? Can you do that? Nah, it's legal. Oh. They just don't sell it here, so it was du- like rare. Duty free. Gotta get it overseas. See, we traveling. We traveling type of dude. Yeah, man, that's so sub. So we trying to possibly go back to Vegas or California, you know what I'm saying, for more of the weekend. So, you know, we trying to see what's good. The airfare, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. We corporate dugging it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Corporate, Word, corporate traveling. That's my ass. <laughs> that's what it is, B. Yo, so what's up with your Knicks, man? Yo, that's what I'm talking about. You quit on the Knicks, and then they show heart. Not heart. 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 What are you, what are you from the West Coast now, cuz? They show heart. heart. But nah, look how they playing. They balling out of control right now. Last, they was blowing out through before last night. What, the last four games before that, twenty by an average of 22 points. Then last night, the tough battle. Then they played last defense. Night, Knicks mm-hmm. played defense. For real? They played D. They held them, what, to under 80 points? They played D. Something like that. I mean, I really didn't catch the game, whatever, and I'm saying, but, you know, it's all love. Yeah, I've been, I've been watching, yo. I've been well, watching. Well. You yo. S- don't sleep. Don't sleep. They don't, well, they got 22 games left. They're going to go, like, 17 and 5. I'm calling it right now. That's it. That's it. You already know, man. Shout out to uh, to Natty G, you know what I'm saying, to check in. You know, DJ 631 in the building showing some love. What up, homie? What's going on? Definitely. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying, Mickey Knox, you know what I'm saying, the whole Union family out there doing it big. Making moves, you know what I'm saying? They out there in NY, CT, MIA, you know what I'm saying? Representing that east side, you know what I'm saying, of Long Island, east and Suffolk County, man. We see y'all, baby. You already know, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, let them know, because a lot of people don't get out of there. So you definitely got to put them on. But shout out to Type Ill from out there. Yeah, Type Ill is a dope artist, man. I actually purchased his album on iTunes, that now or never. Yo, that shit was official, bro. Like, he had great production, good lyrics, good concepts. I mean, it was just a put together album. It was dope, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, 61. He's dude's a beast, you know what I'm saying? So, Definitely I look is. forward to continuing to work with him. 
You know what I'm saying? Everybody out there in right. Suffolk, you know what I'm saying? Go back um, in the archives and check out that interview. Yeah, definitely check it out, man. He, and, and not only that, but dude was humble. And it was just like one of the better interviews, man, because he had substance, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he served this country, you know what I'm saying? He did his diligence, you know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes out here talking about they packed the burners, but my man literally had the AK, the M16 for a cause. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Type L, man. Check, check us out, you know what I mean? But speaking of guns. What about the guns? So, you know, what's been getting a lot of press these last few weeks was that Trayvon Martin story. I hear you, B. As you, as you can see right now, I'm actually, you know what I'm saying, rocking the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Definitely. My man Trayvon, you know what I mean? Like, that's some foul shit, man. If y'all didn't hear about it, you know, Rick, collaborate on what happened with, with the young homie, you know what I'm saying? I mean, basically to boil it down, kid was walking down the block, a neighborhood watch leader saw him walking, thought he looked suspicious because he's a black kid with a hoodie on. Basically, dude was walking the block with iced tea and some Skittles, and then he took a bullet from this dude. And George, like, George Zimmerman, huh? Yeah, definitely. Took a bullet. And you know, the thing is, that's crazy. You know, the dude actually called 911 mm -hmm. before he saw him, and he's on the phone with the operators, and the operators clearly telling him, don't follow, don't follow. And then now, if you, if you listen closely to the tape, you know, he has he, he says, you know, effing coon in it. And it's like, okay, wow. so you just shot a, a young 17 year old black kid and killed him. And slowly now you got a racist thing. But then here's the thing. Here, wait for it. Wait for it. You're not done? He didn't get charged with a crime. Yeah, he went back home the same evening with his gun. They gave him his gun back. They gave him his gun back. I said, here, take this. Said it was self-defense. Kid had Skittles in his pocket. Son, that, that that's, yo, that's a travesty. I'm like, I'm disgusted. Like every negative emotion you could think of, man. Like it's 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 time and time again. This is not like a new thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it it goes past racism, man. This is just a, a a humanity thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it's so unjust, you know what I'm saying? But now the Justice Department is actually you know looking into it as like a hate crime and definitely and, and investigating, which they should. This dude, man, they better not catch him out there, man. I don't know. They're gonna do him dirty, either in jail, out of jail. It won't look good for your homie George, man. I mean, I just can't understand how you're going to let somebody walk like that. You know, it's crazy. But, you know, in Florida, they say if you fear for your life, you can shoot. So, and everybody can get a gun down there. So, but you also know it's crazy, though. Speaking of this, because you know what? Okay, this is not a cop-related thing. But think about law enforcement. This week, the NYPD, the NCOU released numbers on the NYPD's most uh, areas for stop and frisk. So... Mm -hmm. I want to go over, like, the, I just want to run you down. You know, you're a knowledgeable guy of the city. We all get around. Word. So I'm going to run down the top three precincts, you know, some of the precincts on it. The top two was the 75th, which is uh, East New York. Uh-huh. And the second one is the 73rd, which is, you know, that Brownville area, which is right next to the East New York, the neighboring Word. district. Uh -huh. And you think about it, you know, how many black and Hispanic males get stopped and frisked in this city and look at the neighborhoods that they're doing it in so you definitely got to see that's what but probably 98 percent of the people they stop and frisking and they lead Word. the stop and frisk that they doing on minorities is out of control regularly man it's unfortunate man but this you know this is the kind of society that we live in and i'm saying like you know you know me, me being like a light-skinned reek you know man like I'm, I'm still you know you know portrayed and you know and looked at as a minority even though numbers wise eventually we'll be we'll be the majority but you know, not even including race, man, so humanity thing, you know what I'm saying? Our condolences go out to the whole Martin family, you know what I'm saying? Everybody rise up, you know what I'm saying? You know, rock the hoodie, you know what I'm saying? For your homie Trevon, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just, you know, peace, people, you know what I'm saying? You got to chill with that, man. For real. Right. But now, without further ado, man, get into some music right now, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely, definitely got to get some, you know what I'm saying, it. special guests today. Got a couple people, actually. I'm saying got my man Soprano representing Hempstead. Saying my man L Tipsy represent Freeport. Nassau and you County. know what I'm saying? Freak Genius TV out there holding hoping the down Freeport as well. About to get into a track right now. And I'm saying the name of the track is The Sun Going Shine Part 2 by the homie Soprano. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into it. Then get into the interview right after. You already know JT, 100% PR, the real Rick James. Let's get it. I hope this kite finds you in good health, good spirits. Reach for the top. There's no dough. And the sun Not is going to shine. Alcohol got you so much. We got your 
head in the clouds Press the bot, I love the one that's left in the ground You gotta move above all the hassle Give me the cast to get a little rascal Selling, I know it's so overwhelming when it rains and falls and it feels like you're drowning in it. And every dog has a day, no matter who you are, you can't always get your way. Win some, you lose some, that's just broke. Whether you work or bet to make your ends meet, I'll be seeing take a half by the end of the week. Remember that it can always be worse, like little kids getting touched by the priest at church. And everybody's got problems But everybody's on the table And you'll take it on back But Reach for the top And the sun is gonna shine Light is kind of, you know Know that everything on my side is going so well Reach for the top Everybody out here doing good The sun is gonna shine Coming hard in the show Filming Everybody got their own damn fault Even when you think you're perfect You got a lot of faults When you think you're the best But you aren't, dog. Cause your focus is clouded by the fog This could be the worst time for you Imagination to escape you Wait to get close to you We do good, we do wrong I love the studio But lust the outside world Whoever thought that things would be different Two and a half years till they spoke to my sister I hope she wakes up in the trance Remember she got two brothers and we know who you are Plus my dog, still going through it Just won't let her know, stay focused, we going do it Stay ahead, get brazy, dig But on another note, reach for the top The sun to shine, bro Reach for the top Focus. The sun is gonna shine. That dark cloud is bright as day. Yo, 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 what's going on right now? This is Ace Cannon, repping StrongIsland.com with my dude, JT Torres, PR, and the 100% PR Show. You already know what time it is, baby. Yup, yup, yo, we back in the building, JT Torres, PR, my homie, the real Rick James. Yo, so, who we got in the building? Good, man. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, man? Thank you for coming through, man. Who we got in the building right now? What up, what up? Soprano, the gorgeous gangster. A lot right. fresh, diamond mind. All right. Major moves, DVD, freak genius. No star in the house. All right, boss man. You already know what it is. It's your boy L Tips. My nigga Soprano said enough. Freak genius in here. You already know what it is. Free money, Joe. We in here. Free Port, Port Knox, the whole strong island. Let's do it. Cool, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. For fella, thank you for coming through. You know what I'm saying? Um, appreciate. It. You know what I'm saying? We just played your joint right now. Thank you know what you, I'm saying? That, that joint, that joint was dope, son. So, um, could you elaborate on that a little bit, man? Cause I seen a video on YouTube. It looks like you was like writing a kite or something to somebody, man. What, what was that? What was that about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man Ray, you know, he's he's locked up. I can't really speak too much on his situation. He's going through the pill and stuff Word. like that. But um, you know, he's locked up. He's uh doing 25 to life. He's been in for 12 so far. 10 to 12 so far. And um, he is not eligible for parole until 2024. Wow. Y'all hear that? Damn. 2024. Damn. Mm. You know, yeah, long time, you know. Free that nigga. You know, free money Joe, of course, too. Right. And, um, you know, the homie, you know, we scribe each other every once in a while. And, you know, it just showed me writing him back and sending him some flicks. And on the PS, you know, y'all didn't get to see this, but on the PS... You know, I sent him a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying? So All right. he should be receiving that, you know, real soon. And uh, we're going to be taking the trip to go see him soon, me and a couple of the homies and shit, you know. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Word, uh, so I know El Tip say he's from Freeport, but where you repping? You s- oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm from Hempstead, man. Okay, yeah, I'm from okay. Hempstead, Long Island, born and raised, you know. Tips is from Freeport, and we linked up pretty, pretty good and... It was a beautiful thing once we got working in the studio together, too. Well, I mean, what part of the state, though? Because Hempstead's big and Freeport's big. North side, south side, like, where at? Yeah, Hempstead, I'm from Trackside originally. All right. You know, that's over there by the train station, Main mm-hmm. Street. You know? Okay. That's where I'm from, you know? Well, yeah, I know. Boss, man, we over there in the 600 buildings when I first met you, kid, over there. 
You know what I'm saying? My boy, Boss Man. Boss Man. Ah, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? North Star, you already know. And Tips, how about you? You from the north or the south side of the Port Knox? I'm from the north, you know what I mean? But I represent the whole port. All right, all right. That's cool. the whole Freeport. That's what it is. We got a party going down April 7th. You know what I'm saying? It's in Freeport. It's my mixtape. It's my cousin's birthday, but it's my mixtape too. It's called More Than Words, Volume 1. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. If you're going to be in the Freeport area April 7th, or if you're going to be in the Strong Island area April 7th, you already know where to be at, man. That's where we're going to be at. Retro Lounge, 10, 10 Brooklyn Avenue, Freeport, New York, 11520. All right, you know I mean? We definitely in the building, you know what I'm saying? You already know I'm in there. Right, right. Yeah, for I'm... sure. We want to see both y'all in there. <laughs> nah, I'm for up sure. in there, too. I mean, Have definitely. some drinks and stuff, you know? All right, uh, but, you know, it. since y'all repping L.I., you know, y'all Yo, local y'all artists. y'all in there, man, y'all got VIP with us, Let's man. get it. We in there? Right, right. By we in there? Bet. Y'all going to line up some things? There you go. VIP, we already know. I'm telling you. Get up in there. Y'all gonna be popping bottles with us. Let's man. go. Y'all good. What were you gonna say, Rick? We're in there though. But uh, so yeah, you know, you being local artists in the Long Island scene, how do you feel about being able to do performances or find the spots in the venues to do shows? It's a blessing, man, because you know, especially when you put in so many years in and you think people don't notice, you know what I mean? But after a while, you know, certain people just gotta say, you know what? This kid got talent. You can't deny talent. So you know, after you know, after that, it's just a blessing. It's like okay, so now let me just rock out. Let me do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Cool, most def. Question for y'all, man. So um, you know, what's the ethnic background, man? Like, what y'all represent? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I always say I'm Hempstidian. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I'm born and raised in Hempstead. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Well, my family's Salvador, you know. You know, I'm, I'm from Salvadorian background. All know? right, no doubt. That's a little joke I like to say, though. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Hempstead. Yeah, I'm Dominican and black, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to all my Dominicans, all my black people, but everybody across the world, you know what I'm saying? That's but what that's it what is. I am. So yeah, man, but before y'all um, yeah, yeah, came through with that, we were actually talking about the situation, you know what I'm saying, with, um, you know what I'm saying, the homie that had got killed, whatever, you know what I'm saying, to Vaughn Martin, you know what I'm saying? situation that happened so you know coming from you know Hempstead and Freeport I know y'all seen some things happen like maybe some gang activity things of that nature man so like how did that influence your music and just your perspective on life and how to evaluate you know what I'm saying just make you look at things different you know what I'm saying it, it changed you it's supposed to change you it's certain it, like certain things that happen in life it just it just stick with you forever mm-hmm. you know what I mean you never forget that you know what I mean you don't ever want to be in that position or put anybody you love in that position so just think it make you think different. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's a prime, man. I, I think um, you know, I think all of us growing up in in you know, being colored, you know, Spanish, black, you know, certain white you know, white people too, you know, let's you know, I don't wanna be racist in that, but I think police definitely target a certain look or a certain type of people, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's fucked up to say, it's messed up to say, but you know, that's just what the nature of the cause is. You know, I, I I had gotten into a, a situation not too long ago where the police actually, you know, pulled me over and were actually being very aggressive towards me. Wow. Luckily, you know, I was clean. I had nothing to hide. So I, I told the police officer, yo, go ahead, run my license. And when he saw that, you know, I was clean, he was, you know, pretty much like, all right, you know, there's nothing else I can do. But it's That's just, un- yeah, it's the stereotype. And it's unfortunate mm-hmm. for these situations to go on on a daily basis, man. It's yeah, unfortunate. Man. I, I could attest to that, Rick. Nah, that's, you know, it's definitely a difficult situation out there when you're being colored right now. And, and you know, especially out here in Long Island. Nashville yeah, County. I want people to know, man, because, you know what I mean? Shout out to all the boroughs and all that, you know what I mean? But a lot of times people think that it's just big houses and all that going mm-hmm. on in Long Island, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? down. They but you know, know what? Real. Shout out to the people in the street because they know, you know what I mean? When you come to the street, then you see what's going on, you know what I mean? Anybody could be in their crib and just say whatever they want. You know what I mean? But when you come outside and you really get on these streets, you know what's going on. You for know what sure, I'm man. Uh, nah, I dig it, man. So I got a question for y'all too, man. So the Soprano, you um represent like Diamond Mind and you got your homie in the background, so Freak Genius TV. So let's elaborate on the cold ventures and the businesses you're involved in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and also um L I Fresh too. You know, oh, I know um, that I bet. Yeah, um, you that. know Diamond Mind Records, I started that a couple years ago with a with a friend of mine and stuff and uh you know, that, that's just what we've been pushing, our brand and stuff. And me and Freak, you know, and Tips, we just came together. And it was just like, you know, like I knew them for years once we got together in the studio. And I, even outside the studio, you know, we built a relationship. 
And that's why we push each other, support each other, and we work pretty good, you know, in the studio together, you know? Well, that's what it is, man. You guys speaking on, I mean, I was watching one of the, you know, the Freak Genius uh, productions. And uh, what gave y'all the answer? I know y'all shot that video. You already know out there. That's one of my nice spots out there in Long Island City. So <laughs> You already <laughs> I wanna, know. <laughs> I want to know what gave y'all the inspiration to shoot the video there. That, that, I think, yeah, that's, that's definitely that's a good location scout. Oh, yeah, that was dope. Yeah, yeah. That shit was hot. I know that. I was like, what the fuck is that? Because, yo, that's L-I-C, kid. Freak genius be scouting. Word. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Genius be on his job. The, the, the island shit in the beginning, then the graffiti, then just the look yeah. of it, son. That was, that, that was good, man. The videography, you know what I'm saying? The, the mental, that shit was dope. Definitely. Word, word. You already know. Genius do his thing, right? I forgot they still had those things you could look into, too, to look across yo, a little oh, tough. Word. Shout out to my nigga Freak Genius, man. Word. It all start with a doll in a dream, man. That's what it is, That's man. a good video. And the check-in, we got my homie Haynes Boogie from the Island Hop Show. What up, Haynes? Natty G, what's up, girl? And um, Anonymous, somebody, this is L.I. Fresh in the building. So some of you, the clickers, checking in on the check-in, you know I mean? So that's what it is. It's a beautiful thing, man. Shout out to everybody that's around where we around, you know what I mean? Showing support. We respect that, you know what I mean? And you know we're going to always show that love back. For uh, sure, for sure, man. So like you know what I'm saying so you know, real quick man I just want you know you know all the all the listeners and viewers to know cuz we have a lot of viewers now but there's also going to go on YouTube you know what I'm saying like within 24 to 48 hours so I just want everybody to know like where can they find you all your social networking your Twitter your Facebook your YouTube's cuz we're going to see you perform in a few minutes you know what I'm saying so yeah make sure we get take that in the check Yo definitely man y'all could go um well let me start with my email it's tipsy 516 that's t i p s y 516 at yahoo.com and, you know, that's just for any producers that do beats, you know what I'm saying, or anybody for promotional use, you know what I mean? Just holler at me, you know what I mean? After you go check out, you can just Google my name if you want, L Tipsy, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I mean, you could Twitter, L Tipsy TV, mm-hmm. or Facebook, L Tipsy, you know what I mean? You're going to find me, you know what I'm saying? Cool, So, cool. you know. Uh, the Twitter, I believe, is Soprano Diamond Mind. Mm-hmm. And the Facebook, I believe, is the same, Soprano Diamond Mind. Um, if you put in Google A, Servalon, S-E-R-V-E-L-L-O-N, you will definitely find some stuff there, too. Um, yeah, I, that, for the most part, that's it. L.I. Fresh, mm-hmm. Diamond Mind Records at gmail.com. That's my personal email address. And L.I. Fresh Mixtapes at gmail.com. Any music submission a lot fresh. We also do the uh, mixtape series as well cool. for up and coming artists as well. You you uh, had some some artists featured on Volume One as well too. Ah, uh, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. You already know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not forget YouTube. Cause like my man said, YouTube, man. YouTube is what started us. So I respect YouTube a hundred percent. YouTube.com slash Freak Genius TV HD. Don't forget about it. You heard it is. How about Freak Genius out there? Where we check him out? Same thing, YouTube. TV. Cool. At gmail.com. Yeah. Bet. You know, definitely yeah. hit that. Rick James, where can they find you at, my brother? Because we went to this performance. Where can they find you at? And uh, I can't do the Twitter, so I ain't doing it. I can't. Fuck Yo, Twitter. And Google Freak Genius, too. Facebook. Yeah, Ricky James. All right, so you find a Ricky James. You can find me. You am saying JT Torres PR. Um, I actually got um, uh, a business page, you know what I'm saying? It's 100% PR. Check me out on that. I got a group now, 100% PR. He working. Public relations and marketing. Got a group. You know what I'm saying? My Gmail, Torres1PR. My Twitter, Torres1PR. Everything Torres1PR. Real consistent, you know what I'm saying? So check me out. You know what I'm saying? That this is you know, the, the beginning, you know what I'm saying, of, of a good co-venture that's about to pop off. Strong Island, 516-631. And make sure also, man, Strong Island and Wire, Twitter. And after the show... Before you check out the Rebel Click, man, make sure you make a profile for yourself on Shogana.com so you can keep in contact with anybody on the show and just network and promote all of, you know what I'm saying, all of your music, you know, uh, you know, beats, merchandise, anything that you do, man, for real, man. PT Spinner, once again, thank you, my good sir, as always. And um, your gentlemen, if y'all could go over there on that side, you know what I'm saying, you okay. could perform your track, Before man. Before I even, what you up? know what I mean, I just want to let the people know, man, this is Strong Island. So this is Strong Island love, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank y'all niggas for having us here. You Word, man. No. We appreciate Thank that. Thank you for you know coming, man. We'll make sure you're you about to know. play that track, but both of y'all, you already yeah. know. Taboo on Fridays you know and uh, 1600 and Plainview on Saturdays. You know, we do the parties. The people do the parties too, so. Cool, cool. Come have a good time with us. No doubt, y'all. No doubt. So let's, let's chop it up real quick. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into that. You know what I'm saying? You're over there in the corner. Yes, sir. You heard? So the track, we about to... Yeah, yeah. Word. 
track you about to play right now, and I'm saying it's by your homie Soprano and L Tipsy, you know what I'm saying? Representing, you know what I mean? That Hempstead, that Freeport, the 516, you know what I'm saying? About to get into that track, you already know, you know what I'm saying? Definitely bump that joint hard body. You already know. Everybody can't kind of switch it up now. Cats be on some You Already Snow, but I don't know. Nah. You already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. You already know. know they saying snow because they sniffing. <laughs> they <don't>, you <laughs> already know. Well, yeah. Yeah, man. But definitely, y'all, like I said, man. Thanks also, for tuning in, everybody. Yo. Word, man. Oh, shout out to, um, you know what I'm saying? Shout, shout out, out to Cat, the Cat, people, man. Cat Ratchet shout 12. Shout out to y'all. The, y'all uh, make it possible. Yeah. That's why, yeah, definitely shout the fans. Y'all make out. it possible, man. Shout out to y'all. You heard? Word, word, you already know. We love Strong Island, though. We love the world, lot, but we definitely love Strong Island because that's where we from and that's who support us the most. Yes, you sir. Heard? All right. So we're about to get into it right now, right now. You already know. Right. You already know. Let's go. I no doubt. Yeah. So we're about uh. to get into it right now, y'all. Uh. Camera right there. You see yourself? Uh. Uh. You uh-huh. ready? Hi, Ma. Let's get it, y'all. <laughs> Let's get it, y'all. Mine. Mine, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, we shaking. Your strong island was good. Would you still have killed for the team? You already know. Take the rap at any cost. You already know. Break, Break bread with, with the fan. Would you lie on the stand? Take the bullet for your man. You already know. Would you still have killed for the team? You already know. Take the rap at any cost. You already know. Break bread with the fan. Would you lie on the stand? Take the bullet for your man. Man, you already know. You already know what the game is about. So you lame motherfuckers. Keep my, my name out your mouth. mouth. Yeah. It is always oh. wanna broadcast you the failures, but whisper, whisper your success, success. motherfuckers. This is Ally Fresh. Me, I let them hate all day and all night. Cause when they hate, at least you know they doing something right. right. Oh yeah, you know my game is tight. He mad as shorty blow my dick like a bagpipe. No bull, she ride the bull Cause I make her feel good And, and I, I keep, keep the, the pussy, pussy full. full She wanna bring her friends and they wanna get with me Supreme so and Nas like, like I was related to Nicki We had orgies and multiple orgasms A so man never gave me She didn't think that she could have one You know Supreme, so I know my motto Good food, good sex, good drinks, whatever follows You still don't kill for the team, you already know Take the rap at any cost, you already know Break bread with, with the fan, would, would you lie, lie on the stand? Take the bullet, bullet for your man. You already know. Would, would you still a kill for the team? You already know. Take the rap at any cost. You already know. Break bread with the fan. Would you lie on the stand? Take the bullet for your man. You already know. You already know me, real nigga, never phony. Got a problem for me, I always ride for my homies. Loyalty is everything, and I will never let you down. About to marry the streets, we setting up the wedding now. I've been around, seen the worst shit possible. Run up on my block, I'll be the first nigga popping you. When you move like a follower, no one will follow you. Never underestimate, you don't know what I can do. Inside the booth, I'm the truth, nobody acknowledge you. Why is that, nigga, you whack? I wonder who's lying to you. Try to sell me work, I stick you up before I buy from you yeah. Selling pills at top dollar, I'm trying to make a profit too Cock and shoot, talking like a rider, you gon' rock for who? Not a damn soul, slap you with my hands closed Still rock my pants low, never let the chance go All about the damn dough, nigga you already know Still a kill for the team, you already know Take the rap at any cost, you already know Would you red with the fam, would you lie on the stand Would you pull it for your man, you already know You still a kill for the team, you already know Take the rap at any cost, you already know Break bread with the fam, would you lie on the stand Take the bullet for your Man, you already know. You already know. Should be a household name. Y'all be saying a day. Yo, that was that was what's up. Soprano, El Tipsy, Hempstead, Freeport in the building. 
Alright, no yes, doubt, sir, yo, yes, man. Sir. So, gentlemen, once again, man, thank y'all for coming out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody, Strong Island family. Make sure you stay tuned in right now for the Rebel Click. Got my man DJ Stealth Bomber, DJ Goomba, my man Brando holding it down 9 11 with the block party. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure y'all stay checked in. You know what I'm saying 516 L I N Y. It's a movement. You know what I'm saying? Respect it. L I Fresh. You heard? Let's get it.